Tell the feeling like I'm trapped in my damn mind. Tell the feeling like I'm rapping a damn lie. Tell the feeling like my life is a damn game. What's up, Brown Sugar Gang? Here we go. I have four beef short ribs that are very meaty. Right now, I am cleaning them, rinsing them of all the gooky stuff up off of them. You know, just get them all cleaned up and stuff like that. Um, this is going to be a very short cooking tutorial. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell twice okay so they're all cleaned up put them in a pan i have a real bed pepper that i'm going to cut in half and one small onion that i'm going to cut up to um and i have these are the seasonings that i'm going to use adobo which is all-purpose seasoning um accent seasoning that brings out the flavor um salt free steak seasoning mrs dash is also good for beef um, black pepper, uh, what else, and rosemary gives it a very good flavor. Um, and I also have some brown gravy. Yeah, McCormick. Very good flavor. So I'm going to chop this up and bring you guys back. So, alright, it's all chopped up. I cut my onions in little circle pieces, as you see. Little strips of, you know, bell peppers, nothing too fancy. I'm going to actually chop them in half again, if I can get my, I'm using one hand, y'all, so work with me. I'm trying to cut them in half to make it a little bit more, okay, there we go, I think I got it. Alright, so now we're going to get to season it. Adobo first, very light, you guys, don't be too heavy, you don't want it too salty, very light. Next, we're going to use some accent seasoning very light once again and then we're going to hit it with some mrs dash steak seasoning salt free on each and every last one of them this is just what i use you know like i said before you can use what you want now we're going to use some black pepper very lightly not too much there we go and now uh, the rosemary very easy on the rosemary because it's very strong but it gives it a good flavor and then once you add that you want to pack it into the meat you want to rub it into the meat so that all that good seasoning can get down up in there and you know the flavor can marinate in the meat yes look at that mm -hmm. smooth it all in there and then we're going to flip it on the other side, just like so. And then we're going to season with the same seasonings on the other side. So I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so now I'm going to wash my hands because I have all that seasoning and stuff on my hands. So I'm going to wash my hands up really quick, you guys, really, really quick really really quick okay hands all clean and now you see how that looks y'all now we're gonna add the onions onto the beef short ribs it doesn't matter how you put them in there just throw them in there and I tend to like add the onions and bitters up under the meat because I don't want them to burn I want to taste the onions when they're done and the bell peppers when they're done. So I leave a few on top and I also add some at the bottom. That looks so pretty. So hold on. That's how it looks. That's exactly how it looks, you guys. See that? Nice and pretty. All right. So I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for hours to marinate so the seasonings can combine. Ready to go. All right. It's marinated for an hour. So now at this point, I'm going to add two cups of water. And I preheated my oven to 350. And um, yeah, I'm going to add two cups of water, as you can see. And this is just warm water. I'm going to add it to the sides and then in the middle, you know, all around. And add another. This is very simple, you guys. Very simple recipe to follow. And it came out very tender and delectable, which you'll see. So at this point, I'm adding the second cup. 
and it wasn't enough water for me so I decided to add a half a cup so it was a total of two and a half cups of water that I added to this aluminum foil pan so I added a little bit more and there we go right on the sides right there and a little right there and there we go see that looks very good good to go alrighty so now everything is ready you can't use a beef bouillon cube but because I have gravy I'm not gonna you know use that I have brown gravy so I'm not gonna use that um, and then you want to cover your pan with aluminum foil you want to poke a few holes in it so the steam can get out you don't want it to like overburst or anything so I you don't have to do this this is what I do I poke a few holes in it just a few in the middle a few around the sides and stuff like that and um, just to let the steam come out and I don't know if you guys can see that but there are holes all around like little tiny little pick holes all around the aluminum foil the oven is ready it's set so now it's in the oven I'm gonna cook it for about two and a half to three hours till tender and we're gonna see how it comes out okay you guys so this is how it came out this is my beef short ribs my rice that I cooked off camera with the bell peppers and onions I added a chicken bouillon cube so that's why it looks yellow gave it more flavor my asparagus everything was very tasty all I added was olive oil a little um Mrs. Dash table blend some garlic to the um asparagus look at that so fork tender you guys look at that mm 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 very good. I hope you guys give this uh, this recipe a try. Feel free to comment down below. Feel free to share this video. Let me know what you think. Hit that bell twice so you won't miss another upload. I appreciate you guys for watching. I enjoy making this cooking tutorial. And like I always say, peace, love, and blessings.